Hey Cancer, welcome to your June 2021 reading. Right off the bat, I just pulled some preliminary cards here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. You're going to hear my best friend, my bulldog Buttercup in the background. She snores. There she goes. She snorts. She snores. She sounds, you know, more like a little piggy than a puppy. Okay, so the first thing I got was body and soul. <clears throat> well, let me back up. June is some kind of major pivot point. I don't know what the heck is going on, but everybody's been getting all these major arcana and every single reading I've done so far, we'll see if you're an exception, major changes are happening, but I can already see from these cards that you're gonna go through a major change in June. Also, I believe, or it's possible for you to make these changes reason why this is a portal month is because we're in a five year. Two plus zero plus two plus one is five. Five is all about liberation, change, freedom, freeing yourself from something that doesn't serve you anymore. Okay. And in order to do that, we have to make a big change. Well, we're in a change year. May was a change month and June is a Six is the sixth month. You add a six and a five, that's 11. That's a master number. That is a portal, okay? So if you want to make big changes, June is going to be the time to do it. Body and soul, look at that number. Five, change, liberation, freedom. This is indicating that you need to come into union with what you're doing in your everyday life and what your soul is calling you to do. I feel like you're in conflict, like you're doing one thing and but you really want to do this other thing. So you're conflicted in some way. I feel like you've been waiting for signs or messages. This is also saying tune in to the messages and signs that you're getting, you know, the green light to change your life in some way. And then you've got the chameleon spirit, act as if. And I feel like this is a manifestation card and look at the number, 14. What is one and four add to? A five, hello, act as if. I feel like the saying, manifest it, act as if what you want is already occurring in your life if you're really trying to manifest something. These cards are so stinking beautiful. And then spiritual union. So I feel like this is you coming into union, body, mind, soul, the whole thing. I feel like this is you changing your life in some way. Like what I'm hearing is effort, like effort. I'm just, I'm leaving this thing behind. <laughs> effort, I'm just gonna go for my dreams. And that is exactly what these cards are saying here, Cancer. Just a side note, the number 14 on, his, on its own is the number of media. So if you need to get something out into social media, if you're starting a business and coming online in some way or getting your marketing out there, then this is also doing this too. You know, getting yourself out into the media. Act as if you are extremely confident, even if you don't feel completely confident all the time. Nobody does when they start something new, Cancer. Nobody does. I'm a Cancer Rising, so yeah, I could say this definitely applies to me because I've had an offline private practice for 11 years working with people one-on-one -on -one, um, in, in, you know, many capacities, coach, coaching, um, uh, healing, like physical healing, emotional healing, spiritual healing, spiritual guidance. Um, I've been doing online stuff, you know, on Zoom, but I decided I what I really want is more freedom. I want to transition to 100% online. And so that may be feeling what you want too. You just want to free yourself from stuff. So, oh my gosh. Um, Pisces just got this card in the exact same position. <sighs> Man. And it's a major arcana. You're not going to be any exception. 
This is the collective energy I'm telling you right now. Ooh, nine of pentacles. What a beautiful card. Yeah, you want you want to manifest your dream life right here. That nine of pentacles, she's not worried about anything. The dream home, ten of cups. So interesting. This this could be a card of um, Ten of Cups is getting everything you want, the family, the home, the money, success, stability, all of those things. Um, it could also be interpreted as sort of a dreamy energy. And since the moon is, I feel like in this card, she's, you know, thinking about her dreams and maybe uh, working on her dreams, but, but she's also fearful. She's also apprehensive, okay? This is the thing she's most afraid of right here. And I think maybe what she's, what you're afraid of, Cancer, is possibly not having this. You know, you, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. And I feel like you're realizing that now. Look at that. Nostalgia, thinking of, um, like, doing a lot of self-reflection, thinking of, uh, happy times, maybe times from the past. Um, very tender, gentle um, type feelings. I feel like you, you want a gentler life. You want an easier life. You want something that is not going to stress you out, that's going to help you relax. And I feel like your energy wants to get back here. You could also be thinking of having a family and having children here. Cancer. Little worried, right? Nine of swords. Little uh, apprehensive here about something. Of course, anytime we do something new, of course we're going to worry. Um, from a card, another major arcana, the tower. Yeah, I think you might just be destroying something that's not in alignment with your dreams or else there is some type of an illusion here. Um, mystery. We'll find out. King of Cups. You've got King, King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Being a very emotionally stable, um, rising above the the rocky uh, shores, walking away from something that no longer serves you. I think this is you making a brand new start in alignment with your dream, whether that's a home, a business, a family. Um, I think this is you deliberately, with this tower, deliberately deciding to let go of your old life, to take this chance to um, to have what you want. This could also be you ending a relationship here. You dreaming of a better life. You dreaming of happier times. I feel like... You know, maybe you've struggled with making this choice, you know? And I feel like I, I feel like um this end is coming whether you created it. I feel I feel like you want something better here. So you're walking away from all of this. And look, you've got the king of Pentacles. This is Tarot of Mystical Moments, by the way. There are eight kings and two emperors, a masculine and feminine version of each one. And 
and six of pentacles. <sighs> yeah, I feel like I feel like you you've just you're trying to stop denying yourself the illusion. Something has been telling you that something isn't right, that you want more. And I feel like at some point things just kind of either you deliberately tearing your old life down and moving towards something that you really, really want. King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Um, you want more, uh, maybe a more generous living in your life, or you want a more generous person, a more fair person, um, someone who's a little bit more stable. That's what I feel like saying. But I feel like this could be you wanting more financial stability as well. I do this all the time. I will shuffle these cards the wrong way because I'm in, I, I get up here and start thinking. Oh, six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you want more than just enough in whatever situation this is. Page of Pentacles, new fresh start, feeling like you, you're ready, you being ready to put the work in. Ten of Swords, a lot, a lot of mental conflict here about this is what you want. This is the end of the mental conflict. So yeah, I think this is you beginning this journey of your dream, okay? Putting the work in. I think you're questioning whether you want to put the work in. And the Ten of Swords, um, you know, Cancer, your, your sign is ruled by the moon. Um, in astrology and so this could I mean you're kind of a dreamer you know uh, you dream a lot um, mysteries what's hidden um, I just I feel like you've struggled with with making the choice to have a better life for a long time again Body and soul struggle. You're doing one thing, but you're being called to do another thing. I feel like you may just self-sabotage for a long time, been majorly conflicted. But this is saying this is coming to an end, okay? This is coming to an end. I feel like you need to not only look for the signs to have this dream life, but you also need to get the message out with this media number, okay? Because part of me feels very strongly that this is the business. Holy crap, look what you got. Another major arcana, first of all, and the magician card. This says you have everything you need to create the dream life, okay? The life that you want, everything that want you want. You have everything you need, all the tools, um, and this is a new beginning. So here it is. Here it is. Right there. Right there, Cancer. It's time to go for it. Look, Tower. I <laughs> okay, now I get it because I know a Cancer really, really well. All right. Stop this stuff. This crap because... There's a tendency to sit around and dream about everything and not do. There's a tendency to sit around and what one of my first spiritual teachers called navel gazing, which means sitting around looking at your own belly button, considering everything. <laughs> it's 
stop that. This is you. This is Mars energy. This is you going, stop that. It's just a habit to go into your dreams all the time, okay? The magician is saying, you go, you know, start. This is a start. I feel like you could miss an opportunity here if you don't take action. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I feel like you need to gather your uh, Mars energy, okay, and go for it. Take action. That's, that's, I'm hearing, do it, do it, do it. Don't even just walk away, like, go for it. I also feel like saying you're going, I think you're going to be shocked at how much better life's, oh yeah, you are going for it, right here. The chariot, this is the universe helping you out. When you take action, when you get off, your chair and stop navel gazing. The universe is coming in and going, whew, success is going to rush to you. And see what happens when, all right, when what, what happens here, Cancer, is when we leave, just let go of the anxiety. Just stop worrying about it. Stop overthinking. Stop going, well, what if, what if, what if, what if, and you free yourself of that burden, then you have all this other energy that's now available to you to put into a new thing. And then the universe goes, oh, you're actually doing something, Cancer? And this, I'm not judging you, Cancer. Okay, it's funny. Um, well, we'll help you out. And that's what maybe you don't realize is that um, you just start moving. You just start, you know, doing stuff, start creating, although I don't, let's, let's see what else we got here, because I don't see a lot of, um, so far we've, we've got the chariot, and by the way, another major arcana, we've got the tower twice, the moon, you have the magician, you have another that, well, already said tower twice, and the chariot, one, two, three, four, five major arcana so far. Big, big, big. I feel like for everyone, okay? I'm going to just say this for everyone right now, Cancer, is that I feel like everyone has this opportunity in June to change their life significantly, and it is a portal. And that if this is what you want, you need to do it. Okay, there's something magical about June. I'm serious. Uh, and if you walk through the portal, here's the thing. We're in a five year. That's the middle of a cycle in numerology. If you, this is the pivot point. If you do this thing in June, the rest of this cycle is going to change your life. Okay, and you get to up level in the next round. You're going to up level. If you don't, I feel like, I don't know. I just, I just feel like that you could have some regrets later. And I don't know. I mean, that this isn't going to apply to everybody. Four of Pentacles. Uh, you're worried about your money. Okay. You've been um, conservative. You've been a little greedy. You've been afraid of investing in yourself, uh, letting go of some of your money. And I feel like this is what you're stopping right here with this tower, that you're just cutting out your old ways, okay? Um, I feel like you're just, yeah, you, you're counting your pennies so hard, Cancer. And what you don't realize is, the King of Pentacles is on the other side of this decision, okay? That you're going to have more than maybe you ever thought possible. And I think I said that earlier. King of Swords, King of Cups, yeah, pointing straight at your future, okay? After this tower moment, then you are free. Like I said, you feel emotionally stable about it. Um, and the Queen of Swords is like very clear, very, um, this is quick, quick action here too, by the way. And she is pointing straight at your future. That's where you're headed. 
Cancer. King of Cups is, is you. I feel like this is, I mean, Cups could be, um, you know, Scorpio energy too, but you are also a water sign. And in this reading, I feel like this is you finally realizing, you know, how powerful you are and you've made this decision. I think you're going to have tremendous relief and you're going to move quickly. Yeah, it's you walking away, like I said, from something that no longer serves you. Also, I think leaving just thought patterns behind certain habits. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Eight of Cups on top of the Eight of Cups. In this card, she's walking straight towards what? The moon. The first card that you got. Yep, you are leaving something behind. You are going straight towards your dreams, towards happiness. You have everything you need to create this. We don't even need anything else here, okay? This is a fantastic reading, Cancer. This is a fantastic, fantastic, okay? Here we go. We're repeating um, Ten of Swords, yeah. Sabotage, overthinking, nine of swords, that's your worries and fears. I feel like that's just saying let those go. Okay. We, of course, and I think I said at the beginning, of course we feel fearful when we make changes. But nothing is going to change unless you walk through the fear. We all feel fearful when we start new things. Be firm. Take a stand. Okay. Okay for what this thing is you want and keep going, okay? Keep going here. You've got to commit. You've got to be dedicated. Um, and I feel like you're going to be in a better place than you ever thought possible, okay? So these changes are just on the other side of this decision in June. And I think this is a freaking fabulous reading for you. Yeah. Deep knowing, you know, you know that you know that you know that you need to do this. I'm going to pull some supportive um, cards here. Help balance your energy. These cards are not easy to shuffle. Fantastic reading. Okay. The mind. Yeah. Imagination, learning, flexibility, openness. I think this is saying get out of your mind, but use all the experience that you have um, acquired over the years. This also, maybe you need to meditate. Okay. Maybe you need to meditate. Be open, be flexible imagination, learning. No, no more imagining cancer. It's time to make your dreams a reality. You are, uh, you've got to be the magician now, okay? The alchemist. Oh, these cards are so hard to shuffle. Cancer, 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 cancer. Cancer June. <laughs> I looked at the bottom. Yeah. Third eye chakra. Use your intuition here, okay, with it. You know, you know that you know that you know what you want, all right? So, thank you so much, Cancer, for being here. If this resonated with you, leave me a comment. Let me know what your big decision is. And uh, if you liked it, please give the video a like and maybe subscribe. That would help me a lot since I'm building my channel right now. All right, Cancer, thank you so much and I'll see you soon.